As First Lady, Eleanor pioneered the use of mass media to communicate directly with the public. By having a women-only press corps, which she did, she was able to reach across the country. Eleanor Roosevelt further strengthened her legacy in her fight for equal rights during World War II. During the war, she famously went to the Tuskegee Air Base because black officers they weren't being deployed, and she insisted on going up with one of the African-American pilots, and that after that, they did get deployed. And when she arrived there with her Secret Service detail, she, of course, was talking to Chief Anderson, who was the chief pilot at Tuskegee's unit of the uh, civilian pilot training program. She looked up in the air. She said, they seem to be flying all right to me. She said, I think I'll just take a ride with you. And of course, this pleased Chief. So in a J-3 Cub, the pilot gets in first and the passenger gets in second. And he overheard a Secret Service detail, which had gone ballistic. They didn't really know what to do. And they, they didn't feel that they could allow uh, their subject and their care to get in an airplane with a black pilot in the middle of Alabama. And one of the younger members of the team said, well, let's go tell the president. And one of the older ones who knew Mrs. Roosevelt better than this young one did said, he can't control her either. So as Chief tells it in his oral interview, they, they went up and flew around the campus for about 45 minutes and had a great ride. And so she ostensibly went back over to Warm Springs, Georgia, and said, Franklin, it seemed to fly all right to me. I just rode with one. <laughs>